So first off, uh, John Bernthal, I'd, lo- I'd love to ask you about the timing of this film and reprising this character after, you know, so many years away from it. And since then, you've been a father for so many years. Did that really help inform this role? And how was it like returning to this character? Oh, wow, man. Uh, look, being a father, I think, kind of kind of informs everything. You know, I, I mean, you, you know, what's what's interesting about that is is is, uh, you know, I think you know, my, my, what, you know, when, when I met John, it was, uh, you know, right after I got married and I think my wife was pregnant with my first son, uh, with our first son, when we were doing the play, um, you know, John came into my life and, and, and I knew immediately he was something so, so enormously special. I, I read that play, read his work and I, I just knew he was one of the best, American playwrights of all time. There's just no question. And, and, and there's, no, there's no question for me. It's not surprising at all that now he's become one of the most in demand and sought after writers in Hollywood. Um, what we achieved with that play was something so special. Like I, I, th- there are no words for it, what those nights were like in LA. Um, it was impossible to get into. It was this humble little show, 40 seat theater. Um, it was so electric, it was so dangerous. Uh, you had all kinds of people there. You had cops, you had fighters, you had theater goers, you had um, all these people coming together um, to really just get um, to go on this unbelievable roller coaster ride of a show. And, and it was always kind of our dream to, to, to make a movie out of it. And, and, and John did it. And um, he did it in a really beautiful way. And he opened it up, I think, in the perfect way and captured what was so electric and dangerous about the play and so human about the play. And, 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 and um, he only, I think, accentuates it w- with, with the film and, you know, with the addition of uh, with Shay and how that just changes everything. Um, I think we just feel enormously blessed, blessed for, for, for all the growth that we've had in our life since then, our families and growing in, in that way and, 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 and for this film. And then uh, John Polono, I, I really did want to ask, you know, adapting this from a play to film, were there any challenges for certain scenes? Did you feel like maybe some stuff worked better, you know, for film than the play itself. How, talk me through that. Yeah. I mean, look, the, the, the movies expands the, the world a lot. It opens it up. There were no female characters in the play and they sort of steal every scene they're in, in, in the movie and having that present and the, the movie's more grounded, deeper, more dangerous uh, in some ways, more provocative. I mean, in theater, especially a late night play, theater goers go to be provoked. They want to have a conversation. They're like, they want to be shocked. They want to have, be stirred up. They want to feel something. And in movies, it's a little, you know, it's more of an entertainment medium. So you're kind of skirting that line and, and, and how far, what the expectation is. It's harder to shock a movie audience. And, you know, all of that stuff had to be taken into consideration. Overall, I think the, the, the story became more grounded and, and darker and deeper for sure in the, in the translation. And then Shay, I was really curious about what drew you to this film and what about the role of Packy really, uh, you know, really made you want to dive into that character? Uh, well, to work with these two guys was the first thing. And, um, and I think the challenge, you know, the challenge of taking Packy on um, because it had been a play and had been done so many times. And I wanted to, you know, I wanted to see if I could, you know, you're always looking for something. I was looking for something like that at that point. John, John Bernthal, you know, John and I had done uh, Wolf of Wall Street. Uh, we didn't cross paths, but we knew we knew each other, and I knew Polano's work. And so, I, I jumped at the chance. I mean, it was dip, it was difficult. It, it was difficult, but uh, so rewarding in the end. You know that it worked. It worked so beautifully. And then uh, for John Bernthal, I, I love that you used your own dogs for both the original play and then the film. Uh, it just shows how personal this is for you. Can you speak to finally being at the ending line of this project and for it to you know finally be coming out here? Oh, man, look, there, 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 there's so much heart with this thing. If you know John, if you know Shay, you know, we're, we're, we're hard for guys you know we all of our families were involved in this families were on set the, the kids in the in, in the thing were family people have played the parts and in, in, in plays and different productions all had roles in the film and yeah you know my my, my man boss my, my my best dog I ever had 
you know, he was at every rehearsal of this play. He was backstage every night we had a performance. He was the old dog on the piece. My, my, my puppy at the time, Bam Bam, played him in flashbacks. Um, you know, there was just, um, there, 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 there was so much, so much heart here. And, and, and I do believe, you know, when you lead with your heart, you can't, you can't really fail. And, and, and um, John, if, uh, if anything, he's, he's all heart. 